So here we have the fireys. They're doing back burning. Uh, they've got one truck and a, a, a sort of ute thing down there. And um, we've got uh, problems with our poly pipe hose that we have running down there, but you know, what can one do about that? Not much. Um, remember, these guys are all volunteers, and uh, you know, it's a Sunday, and they've taken time out of their whole day, which it will take a whole day to backburn. I think they're going to do the whole property, or at least the accessible part of the property. Um, so we're pretty stoked about that. Uh, it's a price you pay when you're living in the bush. And, um, and remembering that these guys are volunteers. So, uh, you know, they're, they're good, good guys and girls. As you see down here, they've um, got their little fire torchy thingies where they set the, uh, the fire on. So there's a bit of flames happening there. They've been very careful to actually save the cabins. Um, or protect the cabins maybe more so rather than save them. And, uh, and they're just going to do further down. So what I'm going to do is, this will be sort of on and off video. I've asked them for permission and they're quite happy for me to film. Because I think it's uh, good for um, you and I to be able to see what these guys do and, and what they do when, uh, when they put their time into other people's properties, uh, selfless acts, and they're just fabulous. As you can see, the fire is still uh, happening on the ridge. This is on the other side, so they're going to let that burn down uh, towards the property to the house. That's still our, our land over there. Uh, there is a gully in between, so they'll be burning from where I'm standing, uh, which is just from the house. I'll swing around and show you. There. Uh, dams behind all that shrubbery there and this is where they're back burning here oh, the, oh, sorry where the fire's coming down the mountain here and as I said they'll be back burning from here just had the uh, fire captain and uh, his son and another fiery and uh, they've just given us a rundown on basically that um, you know they're pretty concerned about the fire more than I am but then I'm not a fiery, so how can I make a judgment on that? Um, looks like they're probably going to get a machine in. Um, I'll show you whereabouts. It's going to be around here, because apparently, well, as we're walking, you can see it's you know quite smoky in the valley, and um, you know the fire is is right up directly behind us, and they're pretty concerned that the fire is sort of going to come from around the back here which I will shall get to in just one moment uh, right through here as you can see there's quite a bit of undergrowth through here and you know these are our solar panels and um, there's a water tank up the back there and the fire is uh, so you know they're determining whether they'll actually Oh, excuse me, I'm a bit tired. Um, they'll actually um, uh, burn or, or, or get a, a machine, as in a dozer, to clear all the way around the house. Scruffy's little pig. He's, um, he's uh, watching the events. So, little cutie he is. Anyway, back to more serious stuff. I've uh, just heard some yelling. So they're doing some pretty heavy duty back burning here. Locking my gate. See, the smoke's got fairly thick and heavy, obviously, because they're burning off. I'm using my head as a shade so I can film this properly. Shade now. So here's a couple of volunteers doing their stuff. 
stuff. Actually, I'm find, finding it um, sort of exciting, really. It's, it's these guys know what they're doing. They've got generations of um, experience doing this sort of stuff. The wind is picking up, so I think they're starting to panic a little bit about that. Not panic, but, you know, do what they do about that. The fire captain's still around the side of the house um, doing his stuff, working out where the dose is going to bulldoze and clear around the property. But because I've got emphysema, I suppose it's not really a good idea for me to be standing out here um, breathing in all this smoke, hey. I don't know how I can see that, but that's um, our Lemira Janina Wagalina, uh, aka St. Pat's Head. Full of smoke at the moment, and that's where they're worried that the fire's going to come down and um, and get the house. This bloody big monster of a thing that is beautiful but hard to clean. Here's Pig. Pig waiting for me. He's such a cutie, this little pig. Look, he even talks. It's Scruff's toy. See that little mongrel in the door there? Yep, that's Scruff. And he's a bloody troublemaker. 